Hi there, Ansu here from Ivy Tree Studio and just another quick video about what's in the box unboxing series with Lily B, that's me and let's get into the box Okay, so I've got a couple of things, not much but uh, fun things today and remember I said that you need to encourage yourself from time to time not over shop but um, sometimes you need to invest in quality products um, to build your art studio and I feel like that's my priority to rather buy something that I know I'm going to use over and over and over again it's something that meets a need um, and it's not just because of the sake of a fad coming out. So you probably will see some things here that's been on the market for a while. So I have um, new products in here and I have things that I've had for a while that I want to talk about. So that's what's in the box. Okay, so first off the color box in the box is a color box. And it's a petal point pigment uh, ink pad with rainbow colors in here and there's a silver that I don't use a lot because silver tends to look a little bit dull I much rather go for gold but you can use the silver all the other colors I do like uh, nice and popping colors and why I like pigment ink pads um, is because I found over a long period of time that they last really really long time they don't dry out easily if it's good quality and color box i can really recommend is a good quality pigment uh, pigment ink pad and i've been using this for a couple of years now I own, I own only one and then i own a couple of smaller ones cat's eye uh, ones with red and other color colors that uh, that's not in here and I can really recommend Colorbox, the brand Colorbox. Um, it's a good quality product. So if you invest in it like me, you can see that this um, has lasted me quite a while. I, I can't remember exactly when I purchased it, but I think it's more than four years that I've had it now. So um, definitely in some of my ink pads I've had for, for, for longer than I've been married. Um, there's one that's a gold ink pad. Luckily I've got it close by. It's kind of distressed with other inks that is on it. Um, but this I've had for a really long time. It's more than a decade and it's still gold. And I've never had to re-ink or anything. And it's um, a color palette pigment stamp pad and it's gold. So it's also pigment ink. And I can really recommend that you invest in especially pigment ink. All right. Um, let's put that aside and then um i'm not a big planner girl necessarily but i love to decorate things in my notebooks and um, i'm a listing girl much rather than just planning out things i do plan st um, stuff but my my planning tend to to start with a list but lately the last i would say the last two years i've really gotten into decorating everything that i journal and so i would rather call myself a journal girl than a planner girl um and i found this at my local gymnet store i visited them today to go buy some more paper for my printer my um, card stock was running low and um so i i didn't put the white card stock in here but i did buy some uh, plain white A4 160 gram acid free cardstock to put um, in my printer for my Ivy Tree Studio printable collections and there's a new one coming out uh, very soon like within the next week or so so you can watch the channel for an unboxing video um, and I'm really excited about the new collection so you, you, uh, you're going to love it right then this is just a sticker book um, I don't like the fact that they that they used a stapler to um, adhere the stickers together in this book. I like the fact that I can put it in a planner if I want to. I only own one planner with a, a six ring uh, planner. So I would probably not even put it in there. But um, I don't like the fact that I can't really page through it. But I do like the quality of the stickers. And there's some gold... Um, foiling elements on here which is nice and lots of little stickers and your date stickers so i can personalize my my travel notebooks ivg studio stock um, printable notebooks that you can purchase from our store 
and they're quite affordable affordable i just checked today at gym nets i think they go for like one notebook goes for 60 rand um and up so there's there's uh quite expensive ones you probably would find like 180 rand or more for just two notebooks i think if you do the printables in my store you would go further and you can reprint the ones that you like over and over again and we do offer um, inside printable pages as well lined and grid and stamped pages and so on so uh, check that out um, the link is down below in the description of this video all right so we've got little this um, mini stickers here there's two there then we've got clear stickers with the days of the week and alphas i quite like these very nice glossy stickers a good quality sticker i can re recommend it so pop over to gym nets and um little flags also and washi washi strips there which i love all right so you've got six six designs in here um, eight sheets clear sticker book accessorize your planner or your notebooks very nice so this was just a little pep me up gift for myself i rarely buy these types of products because i design my own products i don't really need to buy other people's products but i find with the digital now i kind of have a rest so um, i don't have to have a lot of physical product around me so from time to time i would spoil myself and just venture out of the reservation <laughs> and and try out other people's uh, papers and designs and things and i think it's good for an artist to design product and develop product to also play around with other other people's designs and other people's products it just refreshes you your ideas and you and you kind of can compare and see where you're at and what you don't want to do and what you do want to do um, so um, I, I tend to always my I think my go-to thing is if I see what other people do my instinct is to actually do the opposite <laughs> as much as possible so it kind of gives me direction into okay this has been done don't don't do it again do something new do something else so um, that's part of doing research for product development that's just part of your job right then there's more happy planner products now my happy planner stuff um i bought from shop and scrap um from sylvia she's in pretoria close to me so it's the quickest for me i don't have to wait too long i ordered my um latest um product from her last week i think friday Friday afternoon and it is Monday and I've already received my package so it's just a question of they are paid via EFT so she just needs to process the order when she receives the payment so it takes about a day or so there was a weekend in between and it's like a next day actually if you do, if you don't count the weekend so it's quite quick and actually I received a package from the UK that they sent on Thursday and both of the packages came on the same day on Monday so despite the weekend even the UK package was amazingly quick within five days I received it um, it was something that someone snail mail that they sent me via UPS so UPS from UK to South Africa amazing um, I really um, can recommend that service so that's great if you have family or friends in the UK uh, go UPS <laughs> and um, try shop and scrap she's got a great store it's very no fuss no nonsense straightforward online shopping so I bought, bought these rings the previous time and I wanted to try and use them without the punch and um, I did that for a while and then I got frustrated because it took too long to punch all the individual holes and snip things so if if you're just starting out with the rings um, and you really want to go this route I would recommend get the punch but there is an alternative route if you've got a lot of patience so I have a big uh, schedule filled up um, with lots of work so I don't really have the time to do that uh, that patience thing too much these days I used to um, be able to do that but now I have to look at the time and so I felt like I wanted the sponge it came out quite a while ago it's been on the market for a while it's expensive but Sylvia's um, prices compare amazingly with all other local companies you can buy this on Amazon as well probably from scrapbook.com as well but um, I, I used Sylvia because she's close I would get it quick so that thing of we all want everything like tomorrow um, it's a great service and and the price is just amazing it's like I would say it's 
a hundred rand less than what other local companies offer this punch at and it's quite heavy and sturdy so i can re recommend the quality it's really good quality and i'm going to try it out i actually have punched a page already um i just can't find it at the moment i'm going to stop the video and quickly find it okay here it is so for an a4 if you want your notebook to be smaller than an A4 you can just trim it at the top and the bottom but I'm planning to just use it as is so you do get the pink punch which is larger so you have more more little holes in there and you probably be able to add more rings to it I feel like this is fine and I wanted this one specifically I like the color but I also didn't want to necessarily go for more rings um, I feel like this is fine right so I'll be playing around with this and then I'll give you some feedback if you haven't tried out the ring bound system yet um, I bought the golden ones I bought two packs of these and I'm going to play around with this and see if I can put my creative gold journal in here if you don't have the creative gold journal yet pop into my store it's a uh, hundred to nine nearly, nearly 200 page resource for you to print again and again and I hope you come and play along with us in the club using your journal. And this is one of the options. The other option I also have in here. So let's get the punch out of the way. Um, the other option is the Scrabble rings. And I was struggling to find these for quite some time now. So I was just playing around with the ones that I already bought over time in my studio. Um, I scrounged around and looked for every set I could find. Um, and used it now in my journaling but um, Gymnets had I always bought it from Gymnets our local store in Pretoria and they suddenly offered uh, these and I had there was four five six seven eight pieces on the shelf and I bought them all so sorry girls you'll have to phone Gymnets and ask them to order more of these I wish they would order the larger rings I would love to try those for my scrapbooks um, there's two in a set and I feel like 12, 12 and 60 per set is quite affordable. I didn't need to pay for any shipping because I was already there. And so that's the other option for your creative gold journal is to use the scrapbook rings and just a normal either one hole or two hole punch. All right, let's put those aside. Then I found these guys. I bought two kinds of, of them. It's actually for jewelry making. Um, I'll open up one. There's an oval shape, the one that I'm going to open now, and then there's a round shape. Just want to see where the little lisp is. No, I can't find it. I have to cut it open. Okay, and then I'll pop it into another bag. So this is what they look like. They're flat on the one end. They're not heavy at all, very lightweight. So these are for jewelry making right but I'm going to use them in my mixed media projects they look like little water drop droplets and so I'm just going to adhere them with a the glue that dries clear or my hot glue probably just a normal scrabble glue I'll try that um, I, I bought two kinds I do have the larger ones you do get them in quite large ovals and circles as well and you can add them to your mixed media projects and they can be painted over with gesso and colored in with different paints and shimmering sprays and things so I was thinking of using it on my cards and things to just add a nice touch and a dimension and interest to my projects all right and they weren't expensive you can see you, you get quite a lot for 12 rand 60 so I like the fact that Gymnets does this they always have since they were a small shop um, in Linwood and I've always supported them and they've grown into a superstore that's what they call themselves now and I like the fact that they offer these small bits and bobs that you can purchase and collect instead of bulk packs which cost you an arm and a leg you don't really need that much you rather need variety so I've got a, a big box of um, little bits and bobs beads and all kinds of things that I've collected over time thanks to Gymnets and WM which offer these little guys different things beads and sequins and stuff in affordable prices that you can collect and then you you don't have to run to the store for that one specific thing element that you need for embellishment or whatever for your project 
And then what I love about Jeanette's, they offer a wonderful variety of um, ribbons and, um, and string and twine. You can buy the rolls or you can buy just a half a meter of it or a meter of it and it's quite affordable so i was in the mood for purple i love purple it's one of my favorite colors it's a royal color love it and um you've seen these little pom-poms online people using it in their planners and journals to color it in and i've been waiting to find this for a long time in south africa we haven't been able to get it locally anyway and gymnets has the purple they've got a green and a red and a bright orange they don't have yellow unfortunately and they don't have white but they do have a couple of colors of these and i'm sure if if you go ask them they can order more of this um, and the more demand there is the more they will stock things so um, i found the pom-poms at last planning to add it to my journals and i love the organza little ribbons makes nice bible journaling um, paper clips and things that you can use in all your projects card making etc and i love this so i decided to go for organza for the check the plaid and then with that and I like that. I like the dimension that it adds. And I'm going to play around with that. And I'll show you in a minute why I went for the purple. Right. Okay. And then we're nearly done. Then uh, I, I've been wanting this punch for a while. And Sylvia also offers a good price for the tab punch. And um, it's the go-to tab punch that's available locally. I haven't really seen a different type Um in this design and you do get like um, dice that you can buy that also offer you that but then you need the whole die cutting machine to get that out it's a schlep I like the punch and um, it's a, it's basically the design that we use and I'm going to try it out with our uh, principles and see if it fits if it doesn't fit I'm going to change the design so that it fits perfectly but I think it is actually the same size and everything as this one our tabs are designed so that you can fold them over and it's double sided so if you if you fold it and you put it in here just leave a little space so that you don't trim through the top edge so that that's still folded over and you'll have a little little punch and I'm going to do a little video on especially tabs and how to protect your tabs without purchasing the tab um, covers and what you get in the in the packaging as well is a sampling of it I just want to show you this is the the packaging and so you get this you you can also purchase it separately it's a we are memory keepers um, product and you you get these clear sticker tabs or tab stickers I don't know what you want to call it right and there are two on a per piece and so you get that right and what i will do is i will do a little um video on i've got an idea of how to to copy this and make lots of these without purchasing this product in the end because i think this is going to cost you more but i would suggest that you do protect your tabs because they can get hurt especially if they are not protected so um, watch out for that little tab video coming soon right and then not the end yet i wanted to share with you my dory that i made this is a, a a6 size travel dory that i can pop in my handbag and i am busy working on this just wanting to show you i use the a a6 size little um books that you can the croxley books that you can purchase school books so it's a a6 72 page and i love the quality and i love the fact that it's this crafty paper you can decorate it but you can also cover the whole thing and i just sat in a restaurant this morning waiting for my husband when he went to check his eyes at the optometrist and i was drinking a coffee and i took my stuff with me a little pocket in my handbag and i covered my book so this was basically what i had time for and it's not perfect but i love the process so i made a little to do list book so to do today I didn't get around to making a list for today what to do I do have it in my mind but that was the intention but then hubby came early and we had to leave for a next stop and this is just basically our printed 
collection Caralia that I used here and I intend because I used the Caralia paper on the outside I intend to use all of the Caralia paper on all the books in the inside and I am busy making a little pocket for the front here that I want to decorate and so when that's done I'll show you what I've done so that's a little sneak peek and there's also a pen holder that I'll show you what I did with that later on but this video is not about that so you need to subscribe to my channel pop in ring that bell and um, when you see the um, a6 travel notebook video how to then please watch that there was just someone at the door so I needed to deal with that quickly okay so that's what's in the box but we're not done with the what's in the box yet because the rest didn't fit in the box so I just want to talk about that quickly so remember I said that yes I designed my own paper but sometimes it's good to just take a step back and just play with paper in general and get find your love for what you're doing again and um, not like I lost it somewhere along the line I haven't um, because we're still doing stuff but we've changed our direction doing the digital print and play products so sometimes I miss the 12 inch um, uh, pages and I've asked others, um, Surita, my partner, to just do the new collection coming out also in a 12 inch because I really love, 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 love what she's done with it and um, I want to play with the 12 inch as well. So if you're interested in, you see the new collection, interested in the 12 by 12 inch pack, give me, a, uh, pop me an email and um, we'll make a plan. All right, so it won't be offered in the store because the store at the moment is um, just digital and I don't want to open up uh, the door to um, Mr. Pac-Man again for printing because it's a lot of extra work for me at this point and I want to focus on my current projects. Okay, so let's dig into what's under the box. Sorry for the lights, I still don't have proper studio lights um, and if I have uh, something on the table that's shiny like a glass surface or plastic like this, oh I love the sound, sorry for the sound but I love it, love opening new things, right, so this is cutting mats and I have gone and purchased another double set of these, you buy it at your local, like in America it would be the dollar store or the dollar tree, I think that's what you call it and here in South Africa it's the excitement store because it's very exciting to go the, to the excitement store you get anything and everything there um, we have a saying in Afrikaans it's um, I'm trying to think about the English to translate it but I'm going to say it in Afrikaans je krijg van a dooie politieman tot a rol dooring draad daar binnen in the excitement store so sorry for the English uh, guys it's um, you get from a, a dead policeman to uh, a role of uh, I don't know what what that would translate to can't think of the word now it's just like I'll show you I've got it here somewhere wire wire a roll of wire okay you get a roll of wire from a policeman dead policeman to a roll of wire in there um, so and at a very affordable cost so everything probably imported from China but the cutting mats are great for your kitchen and you get a double pack in there but I use them for lots of things in my studio lately I find them really handy first off the idea is to use them for a splatting mat if you want to um, use sprays and things and you don't want to mess up your surface you can have a double the, your double set put it down overlap it and you've got a nice big spread to spray in and you can even buy two more and put it up here and it won't mess up things around your desk which spray tend to do or if you do ink splats and things so for mixed media it can be a nice splat mat but it can also be a color palette or a, a paint palette so you can use the the shiny surface the smooth surface for a paint palette so that and you can clean it off i have one that i use for that purpose if you're a bible journaler you can trim it down a little bit i would say up to here three quarters of the way and you can also use it as that mat that you put in between your bible pages not to mess up the rest of your pages if you're using gelatas and things like that so this would be great for bible journaling you can even trim it 
down to and, and put lines on it um, if you want to use it as a as a lining guide to to write on so that you don't have to draw in lines in your Bible you can do you can measure with a ruler lines and use a sharpie and put in black ink you can put the lines on there and then use that for your margins to write and and write straight so that can be great then Another idea is to use it as a cover for your journals, which I already showed you I do, I think in the previous video. So I just punch holes in it with my one hole punch. And because it's a thicker material, what you do with it is you take your punch and you do this while you're pushing down. So And then after a while you'll find that it's like it's cutting into it. And then when you push, then it goes through. All right. So I have... Just a cheap version of a one hole, hole punch, you get kind of a, a better quality one that um, would probably take the beating better than this one. You have to kind of push really hard, but I found this technique. If you just have the cheap version, version sorry, you can just do that. You can just go in and just do this until it's cut through and then punch and then it would be fine. Right, so that's another idea So to cover journals. And then the final idea, I hope that this is going to excite you watching this unboxing what's in the box video, is to use it as little cropping guides. So I'm going to show you what I have. So I've done this for the Creative Girl Journal. There's lots of little blocks and things. You can start with the 3x4 cards. Uh, pocket cards if you want to use it for um, your fo cropping photos or paper to match your photos and in a project life layout or for use in your journal and you can do a one that's a little bit larger so that you have a frame for your photos uh, so that would be quick and easy to do and then I've got different sizes of blocks and shapes in here circles even and so on and squares so that's handy and you can put one of those o-rings on here scrabble rings and have it with you wherever you go with your journal okay so that's what i do with the cutting mats really recommended 29 rand for a set of two really affordable okay i sound like a proper salesman today but i was just i'm i get excited about things that that is affordable that makes my art making and my crafting um, a breeze so I can really recommend that and I'm also a great believer in supporting local so if you're a local girl in South Africa support local if you're in America support your local scrapbook store especially the small independent ones the large chain stores don't really bother about you their service is not really necessarily personal um, with the smaller stores you get lots of personal attention and love and care and it means a lot to that person that you come and spend your couple of um, dollars or rands at their specific shop and not at the chain store it makes a different difference it puts food on that person's table and they are able to uh, survive and um, keep keep on offering the products that they do they normally are able to um, share with you a variety of things that chain stores will probably not buy because they have to buy in bulk all right that's why they sometimes cheaper the chain stores than the little boutique stores but it's not always about just buying cheap it's also about that balance between supporting someone to keep on with business and entrepreneurship that stimulates your economy and as a business teacher i can really recommend that you do that so go for local go for small businesses support artists if they offer products support them please um, you don't know what difference that that makes so if you haven't popped into my store as an artist i would love to ask you to support me every round that you spend goes straight to supporting my family and um, that's my passion all right um, and then I bought some paper for the first time in a very long time I bought some paper so we've got creative talents here um, nothing in my video is sponsored please this is just my um, I'm just a, like any consumer went to the shop and bought some things that my eye liked things that I wanted to have so I'm not trying to um, sponsor anybody or, or promote anybody but i'm also not trying to criticize anybody so this video is not about that it's about my personal enjoyment of paper and if i really like something i will buy it if i don't i'll walk past so if i show you something on my table it means that i actually liked what i see or see uh, and that's why 
or have seen um, that's why I purchased it I made that commitment to take out my money and put it down so I wouldn't do that just for criticizing someone so I that's not what this video is about right so um, I don't normally go for vintage like this I'm more into the 60s 50s 40s 50s 60s um, but I like the layout and the ideas in this paper. I love lace, so not necessarily black lace, but this was a nice trim for me, and I can think of using this in my journals. I like little bits and bobs. I like fussy cut pages a lot. Um, I, don't, I know some people don't, but you have your machines that you can use, your brother's scan and cut machines and silhouettes and things that you can use to cut these uh, pages up. Um, what Creative Talents does is they offer double-sided, but then pages like these are single-sided. And I just wanted to mention that that makes a lot of sense to me. Because if you cut up all the elements here, you're not going to be bothered with what's on the back. So why do you have to have that, right? It doesn't make sense. Um, and then this one has got a lot of little cards on the back. And this one is just a collage of things you probably will... You can use this for a mixed media layout, but you probably won't trim off. If you want to cut up these, you will probably just be able to get that one postcard off of this. The rest would have corners cut away and it won't make any sense. So I would use this page as is. Add perhaps some gesso and splats of paint and things and focus on probably more modern patterns, uh, very clean lines uh, on top of it because your background is very busy. I wouldn't do a lot of um, busy little small patterns I would go for bolder perhaps um, just plain surface color color paper with your photo on top um, and perhaps a lot of flowers would look nice on this and maybe a piece of chipboard right so and maybe some of these little glass beads um, jewelry elements that I bought right so that's one page so I bought two from creative talents just because I liked it and then um, I really love purple I'm not a big fan of teal um, despite the fact that I have this teal blouse on today which my husband mentioned that he doesn't really actually like <laughs> I, I think it's the florals he's he loves like when I put on navy or white he says white is my color so there is a little white in there I like the design of these florals but probably too busy for a chubby girl like me so I love, 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 love purple, but I'm not a big fan of teal. But this collection, when I saw it, I really felt like this was a great design and a great variety. And I bought nearly the whole collection and I actually found it at Gymnets. I saw that it was uh, sold out other places, so they, they still have um, some of this. This is Penelope D's, uh, one of our local companies from Trowcraft Whisper Collection. And um, really beautiful colors, despite the teal that between the two is good. Um, some of the elements have, has got a ba dark background. I love washi uh, pages like this, the strips. We, we also came out with the washi pages in our collection some time ago. And they really work well. You can uh, use them as is. They make for beautiful card backgrounds. You can snip it up and um, layer them and stack them. And so washi, I would say a washi page like this is always a plus in any collection. Right, um, just a simple pattern at the back not necessarily really crazy about it but it's okay because i'm probably going to use this side anyway then this one is kind of a mixed media um page i don't know if she gives names to her items just oh it's treasured in front this one was fragrant and this one is treasured right i love these um text uh, sweet sentiments as we call it love that um so not promoting Penelope D necessarily, but I love this. I love this collection. So if if I definitely support a collection and I go all the way to purchase it, you can know that it's something that I liked. Um, I'm kind of personally tired of all the wood grain um, designs. It comes out in every single collection. I think we kind of moved past that now. Um, Unless you're a mixed media artist, but I feel like you can do mixed media on something like this. This is a great pattern. It's girly enough. It's um, 
I would say geometric um, is great um, to match up all the busy florals that you have in the collection. So that's great. And I would use this, not this side, for all the fussy cutting. All right. And it's difficult if you do a fussy cut page to decide what you're going to do on the back. So keep it simple, I would say. Um, but I like the fussy cutting. And she's added the trim lines for the girls to do the fussy cutting with. So there we go. This is called Paper Pieces, which is apt for that design. The next one is called Whisper. And I love this. Just I always do this as well. Just a little sign of florals or a pattern here and then you've got the whole page to put your scrapbooking on I'm a big fan of single layout scrapbooking I've tried the double layouts just not really a big fan of that um, I feel like I'm the impatient type so I would love to I just work on single pages and I intend to go A4 even and not 12 inch by 12 inch I love this trim at the top really nice and it's called Radiant. And I actually like this better than the other one that I found here. This one with the stripes in the back. It's just too busy for my eye. I'm not too mad about it. And if you want to trim off the florals, there's that busy stripes in the background. I just don't. It's my personal preference. I don't know if I'll go for that. I'll probably use the plane for matting and so on. But I do love this. This is nice. The, the size of the patterns here is really nice. And I love these. We also do these uh, patterns as well. So very nice there. And, uh, and these big florals. It's okay. It's called ornamental. So good good quality range, good quality paper, and I liked it. So I've got a couple of plans with it for my journals. Don't know if I'll do scrubber cloud with it. I'll see. But definitely for my journaling. Alright, so that's my what's in the box today. So not a endorsement of any kind, just sharing with you my thinking when I purchase things and I'm in the mood of for new paper and just collecting because I'm a collective. I collect paper. I have always done so. And so I'll be using that to jazz up my journals. And if you're a creative girl like me, then come and join our club. Um, the club is where you can use all your stash and add your Ivy Tree Studio prim printables to it. The new collection is yummy, yummy, yummy. It's coming soon. It's really cute. And I hope you're going to love it. So check out our Facebook page and the channel and our website for news on that. And I hope that you come and join us and come and play with us. I'm definitely going to go and play with my journals and with my new punches. I'm excited about it. This one is quite heavy, so you can use it for a paperweight if you're not using it for anything else. <laughs> Just don't throw it at your husband. Um, mine bought me this. I don't think I'll use it against him. He bought me both of these, and I like the fact that they're all my uh, turquoise color, not teal, turquoise. <laughs> all right, so if you're a fan of turquoise, let me know. If you're a fan of teal, let me know. If you're a fan of purple, drop me a note down below, comment, and let's get chatting and connect. Um, if you like travel notebooks and journals, tell me which size you prefer. If you like the A6 size, the personal, what is the, uh, this is the mini one that you can pop in your handbag. Um, I'm not always too bothered with the terminology. Um, something fell over right so that's it for today i hope that you liked the unboxing with me with lily b <laughs> so if you wondered about lily b it's just my name so ansu means lily graceful lily so my my bible journaling faith art um, club and community and what i do over there is called grace lily and my personal design label is lily b design and under Ivy Tree Studio. So Ivy Tree Studio is a little tree with all these different branches. And Sarita's got her own one. She's our uh, main designer. And she's um, her label is Pearly. Because that's what her name means, Sarita. Um, we call her Suki. Um, it's not a Japanese name. It's just short for Sarita. And it's her pet name. And so, um, yeah, that's what we do in IVG Studio. We design things that we love and we are both artists. So um, you can check out my videos. You'll see there's a little bit of paper crafting and scrapbooking and card making and uh, journaling, especially because I'm a journal girl. But there's always something with, to do with paper. So if you love paper, leave me a comment below. 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get the news and you stay updated follow the links down below to all the different places and get to know us a little better come say hi on facebook and instagram um, i would say i'm more on instagram sharing on facebook but you can also pop me a little message on facebook you can pop me an email by going to our website ivy Tree studio um, dot co dot za and just complete a contact form and say hello um, anytime you want so um, that's all from me today i hope to show you what i'm going to do with all of this in my instagram feed and here on my channel and i hope that you have a wonderful day and that god is blessing your week and that you are remembering to do a little art every day and focus on him and encourage yourself with the art that you make don't worry too much about the fancy products and things this has taken me a long time so i'm celebrating with this video the fact that i had long last to have my create 65 punch and so i rather have that to know that I thought it through, I prayed about it, I waited and I waited and I waited and the wait was well worth the wait. Now I have it and then I feel like that teaches us to wait well and wait on things, the good things in life and God can bless you with good things as well if you wait on him and he brings it to your door. And my husband was so kind to say, well, I will purchase these things for you. So he paid an arm and a leg to buy me these two punches. So I have to work well with these and look after them and appreciate them and i think that's what god wants for us is if we appreciate the good things that he brings us then um he can bestow more blessings on us so i hope that that encourages your day don't forget to come back and watch us check out my other videos um, and pop me a little comment down below i see that i've got two new subscribers so welcome to my channel and i hope to hear more from you girls um, that's what this is about for me it's not just to market or promote my business it is more about the community and the connection i need the connection i don't know about you but i do so um say hello uh, make friends, um, see who's uh, also following us and chat with them and maybe it's your neighbor next door you don't know and you make a friend. So I hope to see you in the next video and goodbye from me Lily B. Uh, until next time.